Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So we just left off in uh, Hateno Village, and we are going to make our way towards the crazy wacky child scientist Pura. I guess I'll activate the Shrine Quest too. <laughs> that frozen duck. Calavia. Morning. Dot dot dot. You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. What is it? You see those three mountains on, up on top of that snowy mountain over there? I found a small letter stuck between the pages of this old book at my house. It said, when the three summit trees become one, turn your back to them and then head toward the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you there. I don't know what that means. But maybe it means we have to head to Afrom... Afromsia. Afromsia? I never knew how to say that. Coast. Which is just which is just east of those three trees on the mountain. For the trial in case in stone bit, I wonder if you get some kind of some kind of treasure for doing that. I already can't read and I just started. Whew. But I have a child. I can't just go off on a journey across the mountains. But you can do that, right? <laughs> you have no family or anything, right? You'd be great at that. Go on, head out there and bring us back that treasure. Alright, if you say so. Of course I gotta get the blue flame, so Actually, let me just go that way first. Hopefully it doesn't rain soon. I turned off the UI because I felt like that kind of took up a lot of space. And I'm used to this game without it anyway, so... I'm almost there. Just a little climb further. Whenever you come here before you talk to uh, Ampa, this little uh, thing isn't usually here. It, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Oh, I can't bring the flame in the house. Whatever. Hi, Pora. You tiny... Tiny scientist. What? Linky, is it really you? Snappity snap! No, no, no. Now's not the time for this. The guidance stone is suddenly working again, and now Linky has arrived. Hmm. Say, Linky, did you by any chance happen to light the furnace with a blue flame? That's true, but dot dot dot. If you figured out how to do that if you figured out how to do that without being told, you must have come out of the summer of restoration in good shape. Oh, Yes, I forgot to introduce myself. I am the Hitano Ancient Tech Lab's Distinguished Director, Bora. Snappity snap. Ah, uh, yes. It seems I spilled the beans all by myself about my role as a true director of this place. My apologies, Linky. It seems you have yet to fully grasp the, oh my gosh, the specifics of the situation at hand. I'll just speak bluntly, how about? You were instructed by Impa to come here to have your Sheikah Slate repaired, correct? Precisely. <laughs> Called it! And we'll get to that, but first I have some questions. Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the Slumber of Restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You don't remember me, right? Oh, you do still remember me, right? No, sorry. I don't know. Die ich nicht. Really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll be able to recover from this. Even though 100 years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon, Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you, even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me? Nah, sorry. Hmm, as expected. After 100 years in the Slumber of Restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Oh boy, you have an ego, don't you? Anyway. Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? <laughs> How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a, it was a success. Oh lord. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get through this very well. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But, the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Oh, I, I don't know why I read that without punctuation. Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Nah. <laughs> snap. 
Nice one. Okay then. She could sleep repair. Underway. Guide and stone lock removed. Wow. Now, let's do this thing. I can't read uh properly because my mind is also just going a million miles an hour thinking about other random bullshit, so yeah. Apologies. I got the camera. Ah, oh, my memories. Sweet memories. At the time that Zelda hated my guts. And stop following me! And it's done. So, is it all fixed up for you now? I there were extra words that weren't there. Hmm. Let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, album. Yep, looks good. So I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with a camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Alright, Miss Girl. What's the most awkward one I can do? This. <laughs> I think that works. <laughs> yep. Look at her tiny mouth and tiny nose. Hey. How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with a camera? I took one. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> hmm, my, who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? Oh, I guess it's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It was on a purpose. Hmm. Ah, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky. It dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all the places where these pictures were taken. <gasps> oh. Right. The lost memory thing could prove troublesome. Yeah. But don't lose hope. It just means that these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Dot, dot, dot. Oh yeah, this is one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. <laughs> as if my joy weren't enough, if you were to bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Um, I don't think I have enough of anything. I don't even have ancient cores yet. All right, I'll come back to you later. Thank you to Kakariko Village. Bye, horse. I totally just realized that my horse is still here. <laughs> Oops, it's fine. Rumor has it. Deep in the forest besides a glowing... Oh, yeah, the blue bees. All right. You know what? I totally forgot um, about the great fairy last time, so let me just go and uh, pop by her little enclosure, her little habitat. Boy... Sweet boy, please listen to my story. I'll pass. Sure. I am the great fairy Kotera. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. I need money. All I need is a hundred rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you <laughs> the hand gesture is just hilarious. If you have rupees, hand them over to me, quickly. Yeah, I just need a hundred. Here you go. Snatch. Ah, uh, the power. It's overflowing! Hi there, hot stuff. Aha! She would kill in RuPaul's Drag Race, I'm just gonna say. Ha! Oh, what a feeling. That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay is just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as I say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Ah, my pants. The only thing that can get upgraded. Mm. Alright, let me do my thing. And now my pants are suddenly stronger. My pants are shrinking! Anyway. <laughs> I lean trousers with one star. All finished. Just a bit stronger now. Oh, you've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all... Oh, wait. That have all been enhanced twice could have a bonus? 
but only if you wear the whole set. Well, and not all sets have a bonus. I thought I would improve some other clothes for you, but it looks like that's not possible right now because you are poor. Please, <laughs> please come back here once you have some clothes or materials or once you've restored the power of my sisters. See you later. <laughs> Take me with you. It looks fun. I wanna go swimming in uh, Fairyland, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Fairy world. And paragliding down to assassinate the matriarch of this village! Hi, Impa. How you doing? I heard Poro was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. How does word travel that fast? I literally insta-traveled over here. <laughs> now then, let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. This is, without a doubt, the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you will, able, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you've tried going to at least one of those locations. There is something I wish to give you. Thank you, Amis girl, Hapura. But oh, Master Link! Is anything the matter? Anything at all? Can I help you in any way? What's that ball? That orb. This this priceless artifact here? Is that what we is that what you want to know about? This is a Sheikah heirloom that we have long protected. The hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, will be gifted the blessing of antiqu uh, la 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 la, antiquity. Oh, I'm struggling. With these words as our guide, we have watched over the sacred artifact since my grandmother's grandmother's time. And ever since her grandmother's grandmother's time before that. I cannot say that I entirely know the meaning of these words, but now that I think about it, the hero is chosen by the Sheikah heirloom. Could it be... Please don't hesitate to let me know if I can ever be of service. What's your story? <laughs> What's your background? You... I... Me... You want to know my story? Well, my name is Paya. The, the reason I was named Paya is because I have a birthmark shaped like a papaya seed. Where is it? Well, it's kinda... Um, Master Link, I advise you to change the subject. I'll answer some... Oh, I'll answer you some today, just not today. It's probably after I get my, uh, memories or something. I don't know. Oh, it's you. Great timing. I have some... I have some news. <laughs> not good nor bad. I did more research regarding that great fairy fountain, and I have a lead. However, although I know of a spot where it is likely located, it's really hard to get there. I'm not sure I can do it. It is literally 20 feet away. Sigh. Even if it's just a picture, I'm dying to see it. I'll help you out. In fact, I was about to head there now. Would you like to come along? Sounds great, but I'll just beat you there. See ya. <laughs> Is he still down there? I can't even see him. Oh, yep, he's running. <laughs> That's a good spot. That's a good look. I gotta wait for this fool now. Oh, there he is. Someday I hope I can see that place spoken of in whispers, veiled in mystery, the great fairy fountain. Oh, I found it. Uh, you, you found it? Really? Are you serious right now? And if you are, then where's the picture? You promised. Oh, you remembered to bring the picture, right? This is the great fairy fountain? It's certainly beautiful, but I thought it would be more sacred and elegant. It is so wet outside. Well, I'm impressed you found it. I want to give you something to show my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. I know. Is there a place you've been seeking? I've traveled all over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find it. Recognize anything? A large gate with a snowy mountain beyond it. Oh, I know that place. There is a big mountain east of this village. It's called Mount Laneru. At the base of Mount Laneru, on the west side of Nature Snowfield, lies that gate. I'm almost certain. I'm glad I knew about that location. I suppose my help is useful then. Alright, bye. <laughs> I guess I'll go there next. Moving on. There's a Korok up there. There we go. I keep thinking I have Chulin's ability. It's the wrong freaking game. Sure-footed as a mountain goat, as they say. Um, oh, I I forget how to how to do these particular puzzles. Is it that the trees all have to be matching? Is that it? And the sun. There we go. Hi. There's all the Zora stuff out that way. Oh, 
There is Rudania on the mountain. I'll come to you very soon. Whoa, what's up there? There's that Yiga spy. Hmm. Looks like he was standing there holding some kind of invisible map or something. What are you? Oh, I could just put like an apple in here. Hello. Oh, you're like a ginkgo leaf. Ah, oh, the Laneru Promenade, and I can get my next shrine checkpoint out here. Oh my god, I'm getting so distracted by so many things. And you think this game was bad, but then Tears of the Kingdom kind of just takes it to another level. Hey, got a diamond. I just love how mysterious all this ancient Hylian architecture is. Like, look at all that. And it's been here for like however many thousands of years now. There's the waterfall. And there it is. Beautiful. Down the A. Oh yeah, a luminous stone. Oh, some kind of bug, I guess. Oh, how nice it would be to have the ascend ability right now. Oh my god, on the tiniest ledge too. Maybe you can get a picture from up here. Alright, cool. That light seems kind of white for a blood moon, so I'm just going to assume it's not one. Oh, there's that moblin. Blue moblin. Seems far enough. Alright, here it is. The first memory of this playthrough. God, it's so pretty. I love it. She's so glowy in the evening light. Well, don't keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? So you did ravioli. No power at all. I'm sorry, no. Ugh, Arbosa. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. All the voice actors for this are impeccable, by the way. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Laneru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. Like the power of love? I think it's love. I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. Put two in the pink and one in the stink. What I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think... when I think about... It's the big kahuna! Ah, uh, Ghost Pig Ganon. He has arisen! He has returned! He's here. This is it, then. Are you sure? Positive. It's awake. Ganon. It's, I love how she didn't even formulate the word Ganon with her mouth. Let's stop wasting time! We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts, show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. And whatever you do, Come. don't die. Go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must. There must be something I can do to help. Well, shit. <laughs> <gasps> Alright. Well, we got the first memory. How nice. I definitely can't continue into the cold, so, um, just because I have only one layer of, uh, cold protection at the moment. And then there's that guy over there. Ooh, and a doe. A doe, a deer, Ah, oh. We just... <laughs> Lionel, can you get out of the shot? <laughs> Tried to take a picture of this majestic wildlife, and then you're back there being all... You. There we go, just, yep, minding his own business. Alright. Oh, and a boar, but he's gotten startled. Oh, I've been spotted. You see nothing? Okay, he don't see he didn't see me. I just want a picture of these fireflies. I want a picture of everything. Oh shit, I've been spotted and I scared him away! Alright, fine. You win. You win, mister. Hmm. 
Maybe I should go to Rabia Plain and do that uh, shrine quest. So let me turn around. I'm gonna turn around and go this way. Which shrine? Oh, that's that one shrine. I guess I'll go there afterwards. I just need to do this one real quick. Oh, another shooting star. It's really far. Oop. Electric keys. Uh, let me get a better angle. So they don't spot me. Oh, stuck Colin. I guess I got a picture of you too, but you're in the shot. You're annoying. You're a nuisance. There we go. Getting all my pictures. Hey. Okay. That looks like the spot. Oh my god, there's a Hinox down there? I don't even remember that one. There's some fireflies. There we go, perfect picture. I guess I could get a picture of this fat guy too. Blue... Hinox. Hinox. Hinox? Hinox? I think it's Hinox. I don't know how to say half the shit in this game. Oh, my grand prize. Well, that's not a... Oh, there's an elk. Uh-oh. No! You scared him. Nar, Come back! Well, this is a failure. <laughs> Alright, he disappeared, and that one's... Yeah, it's a lost cause. I failed. Or have I? Uh, where are the... Hello? It's all does. I gotta intercept this guy. There we go. Oh, one of the Staminoka fish is uh, just killing itself. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Best picture. <gasps> no, why are they running away? I didn't think I was that close. Oh, come on. <laughs> Glide. Sprint. All the things. No. <gasps> oh, I'm so bad at this. Oh, oh, oh. yes, I got one. All right, Cass, I got my prize. Ah, uh, Cass. Hooray, I did it. And from the earth, the shrine arises. Beautiful. Hi. I love how you just bump into him and he stops playing. Oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone else was around. That there. On your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Are you a bird? Oh? Have you never met Dorito before? Odd. Yeah, as if the giant bird people were the most normal things. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? No. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Ancient songs. Songs that... Songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone. Prancing through the lush green. <laughs> Mount the beast upon its throne. For only then the shrine is seen. And the Grammy goes to... Chaotic! <laughs> I suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? You saw the one that's galloping away, right? He's frozen in time. There's definitely a secret hiding here, but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. Can I just talk to him again? I get it now. Oh, just like that, you understand? All right. The crown of bone refers to antlers. Of course, that's a mountain buck. Those majestic creatures are a bit like the kings of the forest, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. Thank you, the crowned beast. Don't you dare, Mr. Goat. I would quickly end your life. All right, time to glide down to the the shrine in the midst of a, a maze of spikes, I think it was. Yep, don't notice me. I'm just taking whatever this is. Ice arrows, how lovely. All right, we are here. 
Great. Ruko Maag. Oops. <laughs> well, I meant to shield flip over that, but you know what? That works too. Was it this area that the windy bay is? Yeah, it's like on the other side. Oh, I'd have to... It's like really far <laughs> and I don't feel like going. I could have sworn it was out that way. Well, there's no uh, getting there. No. We're gonna teleport somewhere else. Well, shoot, what if I just make my way towards uh, Zoro's domain from here since we're already kind of in the area? You can see the great Deku tree all the way from here. Pretty. All right, um, there's the next destination. Okay, where's that one guardian at that's wandering around here? Dakatus? Dakatusi. Oh, God. Oh, there's a guardian. Oh, there's a, a Ku Klux Klan member. An electric Ku Klux Klan member prancing around in the distance. Let me just, uh, get this. There we go. I had to calmly walk away so I don't rouse, uh, rouse suspicion. Uh-oh. I spoke too soon. He's coming! Run! It sucks that there's water everywhere, too. But I think I'm outside of his, uh, jurisdiction, so we're fine. I, I think it's kind of interesting how this part of the world sounds a lot like the jungle, even though it's not the jungle. I guess it is a wetland, so it's like a swamp. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot there was a Azor person here. Oh, you were there. <laughs> Leto, as in Jared Leto? Why am I- Oh, I just got done swimming, I guess, didn't I? I'm just drippy wet. I apologize for calling on you so suddenly. I am Leto, a proud member of the distinguished Zora. As you are a real Hylian, I had no choice but to call upon you. Will you please spare me a moment of your time? I'm in a hurry. <laughs> sure thing. Thank you so very much. Do you see that tower, the one atop that mountain yonder? I needed to- I needed to go upstream of Zor- Oh my gosh. I needed- I needed you to go upstream of Zor River, which runs along the north side of that tower, to Nogo Bridge. You see, Prince Sidon of the Zora is in de desperate search of a strong Hylian- Oh my- Good lord, I can't read. And as this is a royal request from the prince himself, it's safe to assume a generous reward is in the cards. That is why I am asking you to meet with Prince Sidon at Anogo Bridge along the Zora River just upstream of here. Alright. Well, not yet. I'm just gonna climb up here. Almost there. Ah, oh, the treasure chest. I got... <laughs> that's funny. I got ice arrows even though I need to burn these brambles away. Here we go. Quickly! Updraft! Ow. Updraft! 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 Ugh. We're fine. I guess I could just walk up here now. Ow. Sharada. You know what? I'm just gonna glide this way and hope for the best. Ow. Good lord. <laughs> Stop firing at me. I don't suppose I can walk across this fence in any form, so I'd have to swim across. Luckily, though, it's not a very strong current. Oh, I can kind of walk along it, actually. Which shrine is that? Oh, that's the foothill, uh, foothill stable, right? There's that other shrine that I just got, the Metzalo. All right, time to go through this little war zone. I've been spotted. But they can't do shit to me, so... Oh, there's that shrine right there. Oh! <laughs> He was camouflaged so well, I didn't even see him. I was like, sneak strike, what does that mean? Oh! Yeah, there's a guy here. <laughs> oh my god, there's monsters everywhere, I forgot. And these bats won't leave me alone. There it is. Lonairu. Lenar. There we go. I got the tower. Neat. Yeah, I would have had to... Oh, I I guess I was on the wrong side. Yeah, when I tried to get to the windy area. It's fine. I can I can always go back at some point. Ugh, so high up. Imagine if I just pushed him off. 
It's very, very graphic. Anyway, Groove. Wow, I can't believe it. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, you. I'm Groove of the Zora. Oh. It is apparent that you are a traveler, but may I ask what brought you here? I could ask you the same. Oh. Hmm, how very astute of you. An excellent query indeed. I, by order of Prince Sidon of Zora's Domain, am searching for a Hylian. Or I was, but then I fell asleep. I awoke to a loud noise and awful quaking, and now here I am. So, let me get this straight. If I activated these towers, like, five, six days ago, and you were asleep until that happened, does that mean you were stranded up here for, like, nearly a week? Oops. <laughs> I'd like to get down and be on my way, but I'm simply too high up. I need to figure something out. Is there a thing of water you can dive into? I mean, it's kind of far. Oh, well. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. You're very far. You're very high up, so. But you, you are a Hylian, yes? Well then, my luck is improving. Prince Sidon, I found one. I found a Hylian. Hmm, Prince Sidon doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I could swallow my fear and jump to the river below. <laughs> then I could return to him. You must be worried sick. Yeah, good luck without, uh, you know, breaking your neck or something. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. No. Nope. Can't do it. I'm too high up. I likely meet the gods of the af oh, of the ever after before I see Prince Sidon again. Aww. Mr. Harleyan, I must apologize. It will be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave me here and go on ahead. Alright. I, I just shoved him. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So coffee. Hi. All right, there we go. Torfo. Oh my, how wonderful! You are a Hylian, yes? Nah. Yes, I am. Perfect. It must be my lucky day. Oh, <clears throat> I apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. I am Torfo of the Zora. I have been searching- I mean, this is pretty much the same thing as Leto's conversation. Uh, terrible danger, strong Hylian warrior, there's fish daddy. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually going to skip, uh, talking to Sidon. Because I want to meet him at the domain. Because there's a unique cutscene that not everyone gets to see, so... I will, uh, reserve that, especially for... Anyone who hasn't seen it, I guess. Oh my god, these rocks are so slippery. Oh, no. Oh, we're fine. Ah, oh, there's a blue freak. Ice freak down there. Ice whiz robe. They really do look like KKK members, and it is not sitting very well with me. Um, rally spawn. Yeah, that'll get me considerably closer, actually. Oh, there's a rainbow. Love that. Oh no. <laughs> I might be a little... Uh-oh. I might be a little too low, actually. It's above us, not below us. I screwed up. I fubbernucked it. Alright, let me just throw myself in the river. <laughs> oh, I'm drowning. Oh, no. Oh god, it put me back up here. Okay. I'm gliding this way. Oh god, this is really strong. Hey. I might have been a fool. Oh, I made it. We're fine. Oh, that could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. I want to go over there. That's the path. And it's a lot further forward than where I am right now. There we go. I could just glide on easily over here. Hi, don't mind me. Just passing by. Ludo's Crossing. I tell you, it's so much nicer to be able to cross this bridge without a monster suddenly, uh, spawning behind you because of Sidon. Uh-oh. Hi. Ignore me. I just gotta glide. It's within reach. The giant, uh, luminous stone glowy fish thingy. Zoro's Domain. Here we are. One of the prettiest places in the whole kingdom. I'm just gonna go straight to the shrine and then do the cutscene and then that'll be 
the end of the episode, so let's give it a few moments. Alright, here goes the rare cutscene. Get ready. And who might you be? The Zora King is not accepting visitors at this time. I shall escort you out. <gasps> Pardon my manners, but are you a Hylian? Hi, Sidon. I'm your biggest fan. Anyway. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Please, please come in. God, you got such pointy teeth. How does that mask stay on my face? Like there's no strap? Anyway, King Dorothen. Ah, you're a Hylian, are you not? I am King Dorothen, ruler of the Zora. You did well to come all the way here. Hmm? That object upon your waist. Is that not the Sheikah Slate? Hmm? Now that I have gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. Oh, really? You could tell with this mask obscuring my face? You are the Hylian Champion, Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion, Link, has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it, it appears that you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I lost my memory. Come again? You say you lost your memory. But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa, yes? You do, do you not? Mifa who? Play the Mariah Carey clip. I don't know her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zoro's domain. Do you see that statue? Is gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Does it excite your groin? Anyway. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Mm. Oh, of, yes, of course. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Mm. Now then, hero. I must inform you that Zoro's domain is in danger of vanishing because of Divine Beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. Why does everyone say that in this game? We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us our strength? Your strength. <laughs> our strength, yes. What? King Dorafan, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help, why the very thought of my... Why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, how dare you speak so rudely to your king and his guest? This Hylian has come to us in our dire, our most dire hour of need. That our paths have crossed is certainly the work of fate. He is the key to saving Zoro's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zoro's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> you are automatically a cool person if you know uh, what that reference is. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. I'm not really good at this crotchety old man voice. And that is not the least of it. Sigh, so shake my head. Depression. It is their fault that Lady Mipha was lost to us. Divine Beast Waruta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Sora, water and air as are as one, so you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream of us. Their Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Oh, it's the elephant. Hmm. 
The divine beast is crying out once again. I think that's what it said. I was kind of slow. Hi, Elephant Titus. How's it going? The divine beast Varuta. Your princess Zelda often studied the divine beasts. That is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Segan, who is quite shock resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. That is why I went in search of a Hylian who can help us. We need you to use those shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I, um... What? You never played two for sim- Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then, Princess Zelda is still alive. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of 100 years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet, pro they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. Come, Link. <laughs> come! Do not come. Do not come. Let us appease Ruta together. I'm in. Let's do this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What's, What's for, for dinner? dinner? Ooh, the Zora armor. Thank you. As long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please, take good care of it. King Dorafan! Surely you do not intend to give this outside of the Zora armor? Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one that they have sworn to marry. I kind of changed voices there. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So, oh, what, you just jealous or something? So why should he receive such an honor? This is just too much, my leave. My leave. <laughs> my liege. I do not understand one bit. Oof, but Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. Who must understand? He was in charge of educating my dear daughter Mifa. And then he had feelings for her. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. <laughs> so he became a racist. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Link, do not let his words consume, consume you, <laughs> concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Alright, see ya. Sidon. I suppose that means you're going to tell him. I mean, as if it wasn't obvious that Mifa had the hots for Link. Like, come on. And who doesn't? Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Sidon was looking for a Hylian to bring to Zora's domain. And now you have come as if led by something. Well... We've got that new quest, but we are gonna leave it here. Should I just do it with the with the king? You wanna be in my background? Remove. There we go. There's my pretty face. Is that ambient occlusion? You see what I mean? Like, look, like look the. You see this little aura around Link as uh as his head is in front of the light on Pink Dora fan's body. That's really interesting. But yeah, that is going to be everything for this episode. If you liked everything, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to hit that little notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. My name's Peotic, signing off. Bye!